Of course we're setting up highway checkpoints. Of course we track everything you do. It's for your safety. It's for your safety. It's for your safety. No, it's not. It's to steal from us to leverage our energy and our time and our money into this stinking world government whose aim is planetary evil, planetary dehumanization. And a lot of it is, there's a lot of stupid, lazy people in the world, but they're smart enough to be con artists and they're smart enough to join with other con artists to set up scams and then protect those scams. And then they get greedy and decide to shut everything down because they want control of, of every sector of society. And we're now entering that decadent cycle. I want to go back to your phone calls. And I want to get into the Clintons because I promised to do that in these new documents that have come out. And it's a 15-minute report they'll have tonight for the nightly news that Jakari Jackson and other reporters put together to deal with the Boston bombing and what really happened there. Maybe you know the name of the video should be the true story of the Boston bombing, special report or something. I don't know. Uh, but but the issue is we dominated that last year and showed how it was a false flag. I want to counter it again this year. So we've got a four-minute uh, intro to that report that will be on the nightly news tonight. We're going to play as well. So we'll do that, talk about the Clintons, and then go back to your phone calls uh, for Alvin and others that have been patiently holding. Before I go any further, um, listen, this broadcast is really possible because of you. That's why when Cliven Bundy was thanking me on air, I was saying, no, thank the audience. And he understood that, we the people. Uh, we don't take your money at gunpoint. We're free association, free will here. If you believe in the information you're hearing, if it's helped you in life, if, if all the great guests we've had on and all the research and all the hardcore uh, no holds barred, no compromise, savage defense of freedom. If you like that, if you like funding a bunch of crazies, because you know, in, in a world of madmen, you know, being sane is insane. In the land of the blind, the one-eyed man is king. In a world of universal deceit, telling the truth is a revolutionary act, quote George Arwell. If you feel as we feel, if, if you're on the same page with us, it is an imperative you spread the word about the broadcast, whether you listen on shortwave internet, satellite, whatever, AM, FM, however you listen, spread the word about the free iPhone app, the free podcast. Support those local stations, support their local sponsors, become a sponsor locally. It is so important that we reach more people, and you've been doing that. That's why we're having a great effect. And even though as we get bigger, it puts me in more danger, my entire instinct, my entire spirit, wants to go 110% up against the globalist. So please pray for us as well. But go to InfoWarsLife.com. Get the nascent iodine. Get the fluoride shield, the survival shield, the lung cleanse, the silver bullet, the pro-pure systems that are up there with the G2 filters that are out. Blows away the competition. We could sell the competition. We used to. Why? I'd make more money if I sold all the brands. I'm not, if there were other brands as good or almost as good, I would sell them. I sell this because in its class, there's nothing close to it. I sell some other more inexpensive units that are great as well, just don't compare. They're in a different class. The Pro Pure Systems, all of it, InfoWarsStore.com, or you can call toll free 888 253 3139. And by the way, that 25% off on the Traveler is supposed to be done Saturday, so we need to go ahead and take that down. i got to be a man of my word. So I told them last week, get rid of it Friday night, Saturday morning. It's still up there. So I guess if you got 10 minutes, you can go order those if you want 25% off. Uh, promo code WATER gets you 10% off across the board. That's how you fund this operation. We bring you the best quality products we can get, Made in America shirts at MadeIn1776.com and other apparel. We bring you the very best quality we can at the very lowest price, Ultra competitive, total Americana. If you don't bet on that, if you don't double down on us, you're crazy. We need your support now more than ever. Infowarsstore.com or 888-253-3139. And from the bottom of my heart, I want to thank you for all your support. So I can try to pay my folks well and give them bonuses when they work so hard. And so I can have money to defend myself 
against spurious attacks and things that go on behind the scenes. And I don't worship money and status. But let me tell you, when you go through as much hell as I do, uh, having a little bit of money in the bank without it, we, uh, it would seriously be hard to operate with the crap that goes on in my life. I'm just going to leave it at that. But God has blessed us with a war chest to be able to do a lot of great things. And I think we've been decent stewards of it. I pray every day to be a better steward. I pray to have the answers. I pray to know what to do. I try as hard as I can. I just want to beat these people. And I call it midair refueling. We need you to energize our coffers so we can get more reporters and, and fly in more places and, and do more and, and get the personnel we need. So InfoWarsStore.com. We've got great books on Romans 13, all of it. It's just it's hundreds of great books, hundreds of great films. It's all there, InfoWarsStore.com. Okay, that's enough of a big plug there. PrisonPlanet.tv, all of that, Nightly News. Thank you all for your support. We couldn't have done it without you. Any of it. Thank you for your support. And you've got this commitment. I will attack the enemy. I will prosecute a war of truth against them. I will never surrender. I will never back down. And my heart loves God and loves justice. It doesn't mean I'm not, you know, worldly. It doesn't mean I'm perfect, folks. God knows me. But I am here and I am committed to do the best job I can. And I appreciate your prayers. I can feel them. Thank you so much. I love all of you out there. We couldn't have done this without you and our, and our AM and FM affiliates out there. So many great people. And the fact that we've hit the barbed wire so more people can follow. And the fact that we've mainlined Liberty Message. We've broken the Clinton blockade, the globalist blockade. That's coming up after this special report that's the intro to the 15, 16-minute piece that's going to air tonight on InfoWars Nightly News, 7 o'clock Central. Here is part of that report. But again, the explosion, the main one there at the Marathon Sports, and then you can hear after that, Paula, it's just absolutely heartbreaking to see this. this it's is been a year since the bomb attack at the Boston Marathon. InfoWars was pointing out the inconsistencies in the story from the very beginning. Was there any play in knowledge, Joe? Because according to BostonGlobe.com, they said they were doing drills this morning for the same exact thing that happened, according to BostonGlobe.com. Now, was you guys given any warning ahead of time of this uh, taking place? As I said earlier, there was no specific intelligence. Oh, sir, why were loudspeakers telling people in the audience to be calm moments before the bomb went off? Is this another false flag stage attack to take our civil liberties and put more homeland security uh, sticking their hands down on the pants on the streets? No. And it wasn't just the Boston Globe who reported the drills. There was dogs uh, with their handlers going around sniffing um, for explosives, and, and we were told on a um, loud announcement that we shouldn't be concerned if this was just a drill. So may, may, maybe it was just a drill. Um, but I've just never seen a, a, a drill like that. The most show of force that a track coach has seen in a lifetime of marathons. This brings up questions of prior knowledge. And on the subject of prior knowledge, we found out that the CIA, FBI, and DHS knew of Tamlin Zarnaev before the bombing. Reports show that the older Zarnaev had previously attended a workshop sponsored by the CIA. The word is also out that the FBI and Department of Homeland Security had been tipped to Tamlin's visit to a radical mosque in Dagestan, a neighbor of Chechnya. The FBI felt that this was of little consequence and didn't consider him a threat. Also, the suspect's uncle Ruslan, who quickly distanced himself from his nephews, worked for USAID. As the article points out, the U.S. Agency for International Development is an agency used by the U.S. government to operate humanitarian NGOs instrumental in running color revolutions in former Soviet states. And he just so happened to be the relative of choice for state-run media. I understand that there must be several criminals and other people on U.S. databanks, especially with the DHS putting toddlers on the no-fly list. But if you have a suspect who the Russian government warned you about, attended CIA-backed workshops that the DHS was briefed on and the FBI interviewed, why does the FBI need public assistance identifying the suspect? Not to mention how the feds reportedly called the Zarnayev brothers after the bombing and before any other incidents. Somebody out there knows these individuals as friends, neighbors, co-workers, or family members of the suspects. Though it may be difficult, the nation is counting on those with information to come forward and provide it to us. Did you ask any of your co-workers their agent? 
Aside from Stonewall and InfoWars reporter Dan Badandi, goons got in his face for dare asking real questions. Are both suspects seen planting the devices at the finish line of the Boston American Soldier? No. The only one who was observed planting what we believe to be the device is suspect number two with a white cap. Let's talk about those photos. It was bomb drills Monday morning. We got photographs on InfoWars.com, folks. Of Next question, please. Jahar's white or gray backpack with the black stripes is clearly not the black backpack with the white or gray stripes that exploded. In fact, the bags are the exact opposite. The only official photos that should be officially relied upon in this investigation are those you see before you today. So what's the possible explanation?